What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah. In our last episode, it was quite a quite an interesting one. It really was. Mm-hmm. It was very interesting because we got to visit the Virgin Turf Battle Tent, and that one is a good reason to why, you know, I'm a little bit up in the air with the whole Pokemon Battle Tower and all that stuff. Yeah. It went off nature's, damn it. It went off god dang nature's, and it's, oh my god, it's ridiculous. Anywho, here we are back in Petalburg, and uh, the next challenge right here is our father. So what's going to happen right here is we, 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 we need to actually sell some stuff and buy some stuff because, yeah, my dad is very meticulous and very, very strategic about his stuff right here. I do have enough super potions and all that stuff. I'm um, just kind of wondering what I need right here. Let's see, what do we? What do you guys sell right here? We got quite a few super potions, X speed, X attack, X defend. Yeah, you know what? I don't really need any of that stuff right now. We're just gonna go in there and just beat him. Prove to everybody that we are uh, better than him. And yeah, we're quite under leveled. Yeah, we are very, very under leveled. So, yeah, this is a uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun one right here. So. The only man that's ever believed in us is like, Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Draven? The doors in this gym open when you beat the awaiting trainers. Oops, the doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me. The trainers of the Petalburg Gym use all kinds of items. The door at the left leads to the speed room. The door at the right leads to the accuracy room. The room's names will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the door, well, hey, go for it. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be battling everybody, guys. Why? Because we need to level up. We need to... Yeah, we, we need to level up. We need to start evolving Pokemon. We need to start doing everything on this list. Okay, so we're going to start with Hadouken. And the ability to attack before your opponent. Just alone puts me to great advantage, don't you see? Don't you agree, I should say. Okay, bring it on. Here we have a cool trainer, Randall. And he does have himself a Swellow. And we're going to be speeding it up because, well, why not? Let's go with an ember, and it looks like to me, we we really need to use some super potions right here, or hyper potion right here, so there we go. And hyper potion, or not hyper potion, good gravy man, come on! Alright, so we're gonna have to switch out. Let's go with Vesuvius, and rock tomb attack. That lowers his speed a little bit, and obviously we're gonna lose that match. And headbutt again, seriously? Good gravy, okay, not that guy. And sludge attack. There we go. We win. And Randall. Oh man, this is annoying. Okay, so do you not do you not see how under leveled I am? I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so we're back. We're gonna go into the other room right here, the accuracy room, and we're gonna try and win. Win, god dang it. Let's go. Giggle. This is the accuracy room. It's pretty nasty when having every attack lands without fail. That is so true. Okay, so here we go, taking on a cool trainer, Mary, and she is coming out with her Delcaddy. And, well, the good thing about this is it's not all about, uh, you know, it's not all about speed, it's more about accuracy. So, we're going to take a hit. And that right there was a pretty effective one, so we're getting pumped. And let's go with an, an, or a, head, a, a headbutt attack. And that faint attack hits us pretty good, so here comes a headbutt attack. That was a critical hit, but unfortunately we are now in love with this guy dang Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go to a female. Let's see. By this time, Pokemon is not all about the equal rights just about yet. So here comes a faint attack. Venom, come on. Tank it. It tanks it a little bit. So here we go, sludge attack. And it does have, sl it does have shockwave. Holy crud. Yeah, these Pokemon... They surprise me sometimes, and there we go. Oh, nearly defeats Delcaddy. And of course, these Pokemon trainers heal up their Pokemon, so I guess... I guess having our Pokemon a little under level doesn't really hurt, so let's go with a Poison Gas. And this Shockwave nearly beats us, but we're going to fart on Delcaddy. So yeah, there we go. How's it, How about that? The smell compels you, right? It does. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Hyper Potion right here on Venom. And, well, here comes another Shockwave attack. 
I think a way to get around that... There we go. You're getting hurt by poison. Here we go. We got a way to... We got a way around this, okay? Let's go with an amnesia attack. And this guy's gonna keep on hitting us with Shockwave, but I thought this was... Good gravy, Dad. I thought this was the normal type gym. So there we go. Amnesia. This will increase our special defense by two levels. So... We will be able to tank that, uh, well, we, we will be able to tank that, uh, Shockwave for a little bit. Now we just gotta heal our Pokemon again. And this one is going for another Shockwave attack. Obviously a move that cannot miss. One of the more annoying moves, but now, look at that. Less HP. Time to get a Sludge attack. Bring it. Oh my god, Shockwave, you are annoying. And here we go, Sludge attack. Eat it. Oh my god, why would you just go away? And there we go, Delcaddy has been defeated. And Hadouken has grown to level 31. And Sage of the Halo mooches off, you know, everybody. You cut, you were a cut above me! Yes, I was. Oh, by the way, guys. <laughs> it's about time! So... After a few boosted up, uh, uh, you know, battles... Hadouken is finally evolving, and it's going to be a while before it evolves yet again. I think it's a uh, 19 levels, so yeah, that's going to be... This is going to be a trip, but here it is, guys. Hadouken has evolved into Shellgon. This Pokemon right here is a... Uh... I guess you could say it's a little bit of a tank right here to itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at a Shellgun right here, and well... As you guys can see, its physical defense is much better than its uh, special defense. Speed has gone down tremendously. Oh, just wait until it evolves, guys. Just wait. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go with Vesuvius next right here because uh, I kind of yeah. So the two rooms that open is the defensive room, and the next room right here is going to be the recovery room. So let's go right into the recovery room. Obviously, the name says it for itself. And when you think you're going to win, your opponent resources HP. That right there is annoying. It's kind of like the last battle right here. So here we go, taking on another cool trainer. And his name is George. Coming out with a Slack Off. And Slack Off right here, we do have a bit of an advantage because it does attack once. It does, you know, it, it comes out with, um, it has, what was it? The, I don't know, I don't remember what the, the late, I don't remember the, the, the move that it has, but it's, uh, whatchamacallit, it's lazy this turn right here. And luckily, counterattack does not work, and that lowers its speed just a tad bit, and it's loafing around, so that's a good thing right there. What we're gonna do is hit it with a special attack right here, because it's looking for that counterattack, and that right there is critical hit, and here comes a shadow ball. That right there hits it, and of course his Pokemon trainer has his Pokemon equipped with a Citrus Berry, but don't be too surprised if it heals it just again. And bam, nearly defeats it. Here comes it's loafing around. It's going to heal it up right here. Good gravy. George, you are annoying. Okay, so here we go. Ember attack. Alrighty, critical hits are right there. So here we go one more time. Critical hit, Ember attack nearly beats this guy and here we go amber attack for the win another critical hit alrighty so we're focused and well George has been defeated he's like I couldn't restore HP enough what an attack power yes and this room will lead to the one hit KO holy crud okay so this one right here is a little bit daunting so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight for Dalsim right here. And hopefully Dalsim can actually have a good move right here. So let's see. I'm not going to be take it easy on... I'm not going to take it easy just because you're the kid's leader. Or the leader's kid. I'll show you how hard it is for a Pokemon to take a critical hit. I, I kind of did that in the last one. So I, yeah, never mind. All right, so here we go. Take it on Burke. Coming out with a Vigoroth. This Pokemon is scary. Very, very scary. Yeah. Let's go with the Calm Mind. And protect, protect, and hidden power. And we get our asses kicked. Holy crud. Okay. Let's go. Sage of the Halo. And 
There he goes, a slash attack, and that right there is a critical hit. Yeah, he's living up to his name, and there we go. We have defeated Vigoroth. Oh my god. Your power. You're the real deal! Not really. <laughs> Let's see. Um, the gym leader's room. I am not going there yet. Uh-uh. Okay, so let's go back. And... You know what? We're gonna go heal up our Pokemon because we kinda need it. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we're back, guys. And, well, we're gonna go towards the other trainers right here because, uh, well... We got a lot of stuff... We got other stuff to do. And uh, this is the defensive room. I think we've already... I think we already went through this guy, right? No, we didn't. The higher the defense, the more reckless I can be in attack. Can you? Can you be more reckless in attack? I do not know. So here we go, taking on Cool Trainer Alexia. And she will be coming out with a Wigglytuff. Now, here we have Dulcim, and I did improve it just a little. We're going to go with a bulk up right here. Because we did have strength. I completely forgot that, you know, we could actually give it to Dulcim right here. And, well, this girl is going to increase her defense just little by little. So let's go with a strength attack right here. And... That right there will hit it, and of course we're gonna fall in love. God dang it! And of course, double edge attack is gonna be, yeah, critical hit. Holy crap, baskets! So that's what you means be with uh, being reckless. Holy crud, Dalsim, you are shooting the bread. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with Venom. I got a little strategy for you. Let's go with a fart attack, and it doesn't do it. And the fart attack does its thing. And double edge attack. You're gonna faint yourself. Holy crud. Okay, so. You know what? Stage of the Halo. And you are being hurt. Go ahead, hit me. I don't care. What you're doing is uh, pretty dumb. And it does use Hyper Potion. So let's see. Dig attack. And its defense curl is gonna go up, so let's go with a Screech. And just like that. Yeah, it, it, it's literally going to kill itself by poison. Holy crud baskets. Okay, so there we go. <sighs> Look at that. Yeah, totally underleveled. Yes, your defenses weren't enough. So god dang annoying. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon. And yes, I did teach my Pokemon some moves, and it's so far it's not really working. Oh my god. So there we go. Dalsim, come on. Show. You know what? Let's see. Hold on. You know what? Screw it. Let's go right ahead and give that rare candy to Dulcim. And there we go. Okay, so it's one more level. It wasn't going to do much. Strength room. Say, okay, so we've already been through that, right? One hit KO. Okay, so we've already been there. So I think we're at the last of it. And again, come on. Give us some love. Our gym leader told us to go all out and, to be, and beat you. Even if you happen to be the leader's kid. Hmm. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and take on Jody, and of course she's gonna come out with a very fast Pokemon. So, come on, Dalsim. Help me out here, man. Let's go with a Strength Attack. And this guy is gonna go with a Swords Dance. Good gravy. Okay, so here we go. Strength Attack. And that does a pretty good, uh, a pretty good hit, and... Really? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, Dalsim! Oh no! Oh no! Dalsim is getting his butt kicked left and right! Oh my god, and well, we almost beat this guy. And luckily for us, we are quicker than this guy, so... I guess another hit would work, but it did boost it up its attack by four points, so holy crud baskets! Oh my god! We need a fighting type attack. Oh my god, okay, so here we go. Another. And there he goes. Nearly defeats this guy, good gravy. And yeah, just like that, we get beat. Oh my god, oh Jesus. <sighs> okay, let's go. Sea Blade for the win. We should be faster. Not really, but you know what I mean. Alright, uh, wing attack. And, oh god. God, no. Yeah, we're getting our butts kicked. Okay, so... I think I know what to do here. It's gonna suck. And we're gonna lose a Pokemon, because Sage is our only fast Pokemon. So let's go revive him. 
And Leaf Blade for the win. Oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna take everything we got in our arsenal to beat this, this gym. Holy crud. So there it is, guys. We went all out, and wow. Okay, so <laughs> this is going to be a challenge. I will be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. Holy crud baskets. Okay, so yeah. This is looking like a very interesting battle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting battle, so let's go ahead and battle our dad. Hmm. So did you get those four gym badges? Fine! As promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Draven. I'm so happy that I can, I can have a real Pokemon battle with my own child. But a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win and embarrass you. Draven, you'd better give it all your... Or you better give it your best shot, too. Okay! Alrighty. It's time. So, here we go, taking on our father, Gym Leader Norman, and he is coming out with a Spinda. This is probably going to be a, a, a crud... a crud fest right here. Of course, we're going to be confused. Venom, come on, man. We are confused. And no, our yeah, we, we can't get this off. So let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Sage of the Halo. Yeah, holy crud. And yeah, his Spinda is looking like a pretty interesting Pokemon right here to beat. So let's go straight for a Leaf Blade. And there we go. And here comes a Facade attack. Now, Facade is a very scary attack. Because if you poison it, burn it, it doesn't matter what kind of status effects you give it. Plus, lower its, the, uh, its HP. It's going to be a mega attack, and that right there is something you don't want. So here he comes out with a Vigoroth. I am going to continue on right here with uh, with Sage of the Halo, because Vigoroth is a high on attack. So what we're going to do is not that. Crap baskets. Here's a facade attack. That is going to mess us up. So here we go. Lower, lower its defense by two levels right here. And another facade will almost beat us. So let's go straight for a Leaf Blade attack right here. And that will do its trick right there. Holy crud. Alrighty, so here comes Ling Noon. And this Pokemon right here, yes, I get it. It is a Pokemon that, you know, you can get anywhere else. But what we're going to do right here is we're going to switch out to Vesuvius. And, well, Ling Noon... Yeah, you don't look like much, but this guy right here is going to do something. Here comes its belly drum attack. That will lower half its HP, but maximize its attack. And what we're going to do is we're going to lower its speed with Rock Tomb. So this right here will actually give us an advantage. And Slash Attack. Holy crud. That takes us away. So the only Pokemon that we can actually do, <laughs> do any kind of damage with is... Sage of the Halo himself, Leaf Blade for the win, and just like that, Lainoon has been defeated. Oh my god, okay, so here he comes out with a Slack King. Now, Slack King is a scary Pokemon altogether. It is very, very scary, mainly because its power is through the roof, literally through the roof, and, well, many of you guys have been yelling at me. Literally yell- oh, crap, Baskets. Now, if we do this... Yeah, Facade would have killed us right there and then, so... Let's go ahead and confuse him just a little bit. Okay. Um... Super, Supersonic. It's loafing around, so just remember that you gotta take advantage of its, uh... And it's hurting itself. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna speed it up a little just to heal up our Pokémon. There we go, and it is using Facade. That attack right there will hit us hard. So we're going to get one more attack on it, going with the wing attack. And, of course, let's go ahead and... Yeah, look at that Facade really hitting us. Okay, so what needs to happen here is we need to actually use Screech Attack. And Screech Attack again. There's a Facade... And since we actually hit this guy twice with uh, with Screech, let's go ahead and go with Leaf Blade attack. 
And holy crud. Okay, so we got one more chance to actually hit it. Okay. So we got one more chance to actually hit it before it actually eliminates us. And we have to go through another reviving process. And look at that. Oh my god. So this attack actually hits us. We actually have a good chance at hitting it one more time again with Dulcim right here. So let's go with the strength attack. It's loafing. And there we go. Slacking has been defeated. Dalsim finally wins it. <laughs> dot dot dot. I, I, I can't. I can't believe it, Draven. I lost to Draven? But rules are rules. Here, take this. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strategy, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm throwing out the peace sign. Okay, so the peace sign's there. We got the balance badge. With that badge, the defense of all your Pokemon will increase. Pokemon will know the HM Surf and will be able to travel over the water. This is my gift to you, Draven. I'm sure you can put it use, uh, to use. We get ourselves the TM42 facade. Yes, it doubles in power of the, or it doubles the power of the moves of the Pokemon. If it's poison, paralyzed, or burnt, it might be able to turn a bad situation into an advantage. As the gym leader, I can't express how upset I am, but as a father, it makes me both happy and a little sad. It's odd. And, well, look at this. This guy is looking for us. He's gonna be like, Ah, there you are, Draven. Please come with me. I have something I want to ha I want you to have. Norman, don't you don't mind, don't you? Let me borrow your Draven for a minute or two. Oh, okay, alrighty, see you, Dad. Um, thanks for the battle. Um we're kind of hidey hoeing here. Da -da 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 -da. Look at this, and well, here we are in uh, Wally's house, and his dad's gonna be like, "Draven, please excuse us for dragging you this way, but our Wally's become a very healthy since, or has become very healthy since he went to Verdant Turf Town. We owe it all to you. When Wally left town, you helped him catch a Pokemon, right? I think that made Wally very happy. Actually, not just Wally; it made me, his father, happy too." Happy that it's gained such a great friend as you. This isn't a bribe or anything, but I'd really like you to have this. And there we go, guys. We get ourselves the HMO3 Surf, finally. If your Pokemon can surf, you'll be able to go through all sorts of places. Yes. Yes. So look at that, guys. We have five badges, and we can now surf. This is big, and we did it all by being a little strategic. Holy crud, look. Like... Two Pokemon survived. The guy that lost every single time won it for us. Oh, Dalsim. What am I going to do for you? Anywho, in the next episode, guys, yes, we will be surfing a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being as patient as possible. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go through episode 20. See you guys.